So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we have discussed all the type of operators in C++, arithmetic, relational, logical, bitwise, assignment and some miscellaneous operators. So the next topic is operator precedence and associativity. This is also one of the important topic in case of operators. Without this, you cannot solve any expression which is having multiple operators, right? An expression is having multiple operators, plus, minus, divide, left shift, right shift, logical and logical or. So to solve that expression, you need to know what is operator precedence and associativity of the operator, right? Operator precedence is nothing you can say, it's like a priority, priority of the operator. So don't worry, we'll discuss this thing with the help of two or three examples. First of all, simple example, then two or three complex examples, right? And uh, we'll see step by step everything, how to solve the expression, keeping in mind the operator precedence and associativity, right? Now, before that, I just want to tell you one thing. Geeks for Geeks has come up with a fun-filled event for you guys called Geek Olympics. Now, what you have to do is just go to the link in the description box of this video, register for the event free of course. And after registering, you will get access to the calendar where you can see all the upcoming events and activities. And see, they have something different and new every day in the month of July from 1st to 31st of July. So do check out this link every day and where you can get a chance to win some rewards and it would be a great learning experience for you guys. Now, let me brief you on one of the interesting segment of Geek Olympics, which is DSA Cheat Code Sheet. Yes. They have come up with the ultimate DSA cheat code sheet, which will help you to start your DSA preparation. It is a step-by-step -step guide or you can say it's a complete guide where you will, you know, you will get to know from where you can start your coding journey and what kind of uh, problems you should practice. So you just need to fill the Google form, which should be in the description box of this video, submit that form and after that you will get a link to download this cheat code. So register here to get this uh, cheat code sheet instantly and see. In this sheet, you will get exclusive content of GFG and also content from the paid courses. But keep in mind one thing, this cheat code sheet, this content would be available on the website on for, for few days only, for some days, in between 1st to 31st of July. So do check out it every day and shoot your shot. So all the relevant links and details I'll put in the description of this video, you can go and check out. Now let's see what is operator precedence and associativity. So first of all, what is operator Precedence, see, it's you can say it's priority. Precedence means the order in which operators is to be executed. Like you have heard board mass rule, you must have heard, I guess, everybody board mass rule. First, we solve the brackets, right? Then uh, some priorities of operators are there. According to the priority, we solve all the operators. Like this, if an expression is something like this, I have like uh, 2 plus 3 into 5. In this we have two operator or if I write something like in a program if I write int a and then a is equal to this and then c out a. c out a. So here this is a simple program like this is what expression although you can write those header file and namespace std and main, int main all this thing. The main logic I have written. So this is what an expression, in this expression we have how many operand, how many operators, 1, 2, 3, equal to operator that is assignment operator and plus and into arithmetic operators, plus and into are arithmetic operators. So which operator is to be executed first, if you have more than one op operator in one expression. So how you will decide that thing, based on operator precedence, right. Same thing like you, if you are standing in a queue in any bank, suppose and any VIP come or uh, suppose any member of same bank comes, then his or her work is to be done first rather than your work. They will not stand in the queue because they are having higher priority than you if a VIP come, right? So they are having higher priority than, than you guys, right? So their work is to be done first after that your work. Although you are standing in a queue, they will not stand in that queue, right? So same. For operators also we have some precedence or some uh, you can say that uh, uh, priority, right. So this is the priority you can say the table for operator, right, as you can see. At the first we have scope resolution operator, then we have post fix increment and decrement operator, right. Don't check out the associativity first, that also we will discuss, first of all check the precedence, right. So you don't have to remember this precedence chart as it is, 
But yeah, you have to remember the operators which we frequently use, the precedence and associativity for those operators like relational, uh, those arithmetic operators, logical, bitwise operators, uh, the, those increment, decrement operators, right? For this, you have to remember the uh, you know, precedence, right? See, now, first of all, the precedence of which operator is more? Assignment operators are having lowest precedence. So that would be executed in the last. Plus or into, the precedence of into or multiplication operator is higher than this plus. So first of all, this would be executed. It means 5 into 3, 15, 15 plus 2 is 17. Now A becomes 17. If I modify something like this, now this is my expression. In this case, we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 operators. So one is this bracket. This is also an operator. And the highest precedence is of this bracket. So first, now you will solve this thing. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Then 5 into 5, 25, right? Then 25 would be assigned to A. Now A becomes 25. So see, in the both the cases, you are getting different result. Just I have changed a little bit. I have added this bracket. That's it, this operator. That is why we need operator precedence. Right? So now let's take one more example. Now at this time we have this expression. So in this expression we have many operators. Or before that let's take a simple example. Suppose I have 2 plus 3 into 5 divided by 2 mode uh, suppose 3. This is the expression. Now in this we have plus into divide mode. So which operator is having higher precedence? this into divide and modulo these are having higher precedence than this plus but these three are having same precedence it's not like that into is having higher precedence or this is having higher precedence right these are having same precedence but higher than this plus so now if in in an expression two or three operators comes of having same precedence now which operator to be executed first now how you will decide because they are having same precedence right Suppose two VIP person come. So you are standing in queue and two or three VIP person come. So they are having higher precedence than, than you. So obviously they'll uh, do their work. Their work is to be done first. But they are three person and all of them is VIP. So how they will decide, right? So same here, these three operators are having higher precedence than plus, but they are having same precedence. They are VIP, right? Now, which operator is to be executed first? Now you have to check the associativity of the operator. In this table, this column is for associativity. Every operator is having associativity left to right, except two groups. First is what? Prefix, increment, decrement, unary, plus, minus, logical, not, bitwise, uh, this, uh, and then address of, size of. This group is having associativity right to left. And second, the conditional operator and assignment operator. These are having associativity right to left. Otherwise, all the operators are having associativity left to right. Now, what does this mean? See, now associativity for these operators are, multiplicative operators are left to right. Means, we will move from left to right and the first operator, whatever operator you will get first, that would be executed first. So, now we have 2 plus when will you move left to right, first operator is into. So that would be executed first. Means 5 into 3, 15. Then divide to mode 3. When you move left to right, which operator is coming first? Divide. So this would be executed first. 2 plus 15 divided by 2. Suppose you are taking only int value. So what value it will give? 7. Right? Now we have mode 3. Now out of this we have higher precedence mode operator so 2 plus 7 mode 3 mode will give remainder so now remainder is i guess 1 now the output would, would be 3 so i hope you got what is precedence and associativity when to check precedence when to check associativity now let's try to solve this expression this is little bit complex in this expression we have many operators we have plus this is bitwise over divide minus left shift bitwise left shift logical and mode divide and into right now out of these operators which operator is having higher precedence 
out of these the multiplicative operators divide mode divide into these are having higher precedence but we have to divide one mode and one uh, that uh, multiplication so we'll check the associativity will associativity for these are left to right so when you will move left to right which operator you will get first divide so now it becomes 2 plus 3 and bitwise or 12 divided by 6 that becomes 2 right then minus 1 then this then logical and and after that this mode 6 mode 7 mode will give remainder but we cannot divide this remainder would be 6 only 6 divide by 3 into 5 after this this division would be executed so division 3 divided by 6 divided by 3 means 2 so rather than this we can write simply 2 now I will execute this into 5 into 2 is 10 right now out of these operator which is having higher precedence the, this plus and minus are having higher precedence than this these remaining operators right you can see that precedence chart if you don't remember right now right but they are having associativity left to right so we'll move left to right and solve first operator is plus so 5 bitwise or then this minus would be executed for this operand is this and this 2 minus 1 is 1 1 left shift 1 and 10 now we have bitwise left shift bitwise or and logical and out of these higher precedences this left shift operator is having higher precedence so 5 this 1 left shift 1 this is bitwise operator so first you have to convert it into bits so 1 would be converted something like the 0 0 0 1 in 4 bits I am representing it now we will left shift this by 1 only by 1 bit so by 1 bit we will left shift so this would be discarded this 0 would be here this 0 would be here this 1 would be here and at this place we will simply fill this place with 0 so now this becomes the decimal equivalent of this is 2 right so now rather than this you can simply write 2 and 10 so from this we have this bitwise or is having higher precedence than logical and so first you have to solve this one 5 bitwise so bitwise operator is there so first convert the, this and this into bits 5 would be converted in binary how you can write 5 0 1 0 1 see 1 2 4 8 right in 4 bits 2 can be written 0 0 1 0 now execute bitwise or on this bitwise or means 1 0 obviously 1 1 1 0 if any one is true it will give true otherwise false if both are false then only it will give false so decimal of this is what 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is 7 7 and 10 logical and operator for logical and operator the operand should be boolean boolean value true or false so 7 or 10 other than 0 if value is there then it would be considered as true 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 it will give 1 so now y becomes 1 right or the shortcut to solve this kind of expression is what if this kind of expression comes into your exam then what is the shortcut c this logical and operator out of these logical and operator is having lowest precedence right so now this would be executed in the last and bitwise the logical and operator works on short circuit evaluation means if one operand is false it will be false logical and trustable I guess you remember right so either solve this thing or either solve this thing so this is short so first of all solve this thing this expression is this so the precedence of these are same so check the associativity left to right 6 mod 7 will give 6 divided by 3 into 5 right then becomes 2 into 5 that is 10 so one side of logical and is true 10 means obviously true other than 0 is true right now for logical and both the sides should be true so now you cannot say if one is true it would be the result would be true no now you have to execute this also right 
if this becomes true then only it would be true if other than this we have logical or operator we have logical or logical or means if one side true it will give true so rather than solving the complete expression just solve this one 10 10 means true so you don't need to solve this one the result would be definitely true that is one so this is you can say the shortcut to solve these kind of expression right I hope you got the precedence and associativity with the help of this expression why we are getting true value let me just give you now some assignment same expression we have just I have changed bitwise rather than bitwise or we have bitwise and so for this you have to tell what would be the output right second is what here we have and and I'm just changing this rather than this three I have eight this is for second assignment right so this is second second question so what you will get here right in first here we have three so this is your first question in second question everything would be same and rather than three we have eight so this is your second question so these are two questions you have to solve now let's uh, take this example also like if i have a is equal to two comma three comma four and if i print c out a this comma operator is having lowest precedence right then the, this assignment is having higher precedence than, than this comma operator right so now first out of this we have two comma operator one assignment operator first which operator would be executed assignment operator is having higher precedence assignment operator is once, uh, means what Le right hand side value would be assigned to left hand side so it will check this value only right hand side value is 2 2 would be assigned to a and it will give 2 now i am changing a little bit i am just writing i am just putting a bracket now we have three operators uh, this equal to uh, sorry this assignment operator then comma operator and this bracket so out of this which is having higher precedence bracket so this would be executed first now in this bracket we have 2 comma 3 comma 4 2 comma operators so check the associativity comma operator two comma operator are having same precedence so now check the associativity which comma operator is to be executed first associativity of comma operator is what left to right left to right so now first this comma operator would be executed now what is the operation of comma operator this expression would be executed evaluated and it will discard this value after that this comma operator this for this uh, the, the, the expression that this would be executed and this will discard the value so it will discard 2 then it will discard 3 and then it will return 4 right so now 4 would be assigned to this a in this case now in this case a would be 4 I hope you got the, the value uh, sorry how you are getting this 4 right when you move left to right this would be discarded this would be discarded and finally the whatever the value at the right hand side at last it the, that value would be returned if i write here comma 6 then this value will also be discarded after this comma operator we have one more value so this would be returned the last value so now a would be 6 right so this is one more question for you guys we have four variable a b c d the values are something like this and in y this is the expression a divided by b this is bitwise xor c into a mode in bracket we have c plus d c plus d then left shift d and minus 2 so what would be the value of this i hope you got precedence and associativity and you can evaluate any complex expression right now the tricky one is increment and decrement prefix increment and postfix these expressions so for that we will be discussing two or three you know separate in separate video two, two or three questions complicated type of questions right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care